welcome to Forza Horizon 4. Yes. And we have a bit of a problem. First off, there are no class-based rivals at all, which is very annoying. And... The route creator is not open yet. It comes out in a, about exactly a month as of recording this video. So I have to do a workaround. I'm not gonna restart. I'm not gonna have a whole series and then just bail on it after the route creator. That's not an option, really. So I'll build race cars out of road cars, <clears throat> starting with this M Sport Fiesta. This won the World Rally Championship last year for Drivers Championship, Co-Drivers Championship, and the Manufacturer Championship. That's pretty impressive. <clears throat> so, I thought, well, what if we take this Fiesta and compare it to a, another Fiesta, the 2014, that I'll build it up instead of just having a class, we're just going to try to build it as a temporary solution. So at first, I had to set a lap time, and this is where this comes in. You see, this is a race, which I'm in last place, and I start at this little sign in the corner there, you see? And then we go down this rally stage. Now this rally stage, Horizon 4 rally stages are absolutely phenomenal. This game overall, phenomenal. The only real problem is the lack of rivals. But you can, you can circumvent that with this method. And with the route creator, that'll open up a whole new opportunity for you. But as of right now, this is pretty much the only way to do timed laps or timed stages. So you have this nice bit of tarmac right here. And you have a hard, hard left-hander. You gotta handbrake it a little bit. I, this is the first run. This is when I was practicing. So I didn't handbrake. I just did normally my normal run, my normal style of driving. Handbraking is actually slightly faster on this stage. It's very interesting. I like it. Um, very technical stage, has some very technical sections, but also has some good straight line speed. Has some high speed corners, low speed corners. But yeah, you see here, drifting does actually give you a slight benefit, because it keeps you high in the rev range. Um, and yeah, we just, so I did three runs. So you can see this was um, run number one. Did not go well. <laughs> and yeah. It was, it was real fun. I love this. I, I love the fact that there's the M Sport Fiesta in this game. Because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the only World Rally Championship vehicle that is still currently competing in this game. That is very cool. Because they have the Group B cars, obviously, but those have, haven't competed in eons. This, however, this competed and dominated last year in... It isn't doing too hot this year. It was on a winning streak, which then was evaporated by Toyota Yaris. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my rally stage. And my rules, I had to follow the PI, not the PI, the um, performance specifications from the game. So it had about 375, 380 horsepower, weighs about 2,800 pounds. That is why I had to get the Fiesta 2 in my build. Everything else I can max out, I just had to limit myself to those restrictions. And then of course, all-wheel drive. So, I thought it would be a pretty interesting test, and yeah. I really, really like these rally roads, I really like this car, and I really like this game. And now I shall show you another benefit, the building of cars. And this is my car. Riveting, isn't it? That's actually a very nice car. But, we're going to make it a bit madder. We're going to be a bit more crazy, so... We're going to start off with a good old, not that, a good old fashioned all-wheel drive swap. Then we're going to put all the arrow we possibly can on it. Because we're going to need this thing to handle well. Now it's 2009 right now. It'll be a little fiddly getting the um, specs correct. So that's 2820, okay. That's not a bad way, that's actually relatively on par, I would say. Now I think I can get 380 horsepower out of this engine from the stock car. I would hope so. Um, but we shall see. 
Now it actually does drop us below the weight requirement. However, the roll cage is going to come in handy on this one by giving us that weight requirement. So you see, and... Ah, that doesn't give us much as much room as I was hoping for for playing around. Okay, turbo, can you add like 200 horse? Yeah, 21 horsepower. That's not particularly good. Um, that's another 7 horsepower. We are adding weight though, at least. Um, okay. You. You're a big one. Yeah. We need, what, 380 horsepower? Well, there's 317. 330. We're gonna max this car out, pretty much. And this is with the stock engine. Oh, it's really, it's, there we go, perfect, 380 horsepower on the dot. Now, can we get the weight down to that mythical, that mythical power figure? Let's go with these. Lighter rims, um, 20, that is hideous. <laughs> 34 pounds, that's pretty darn close, 34 pounds. Um, these are all hideous, though. But you know what? We're not going to be looking at them because they're going to be in motion. There we go. It's actually pretty close. It's only 10 PI down. And I think that might just be due to handling. So, uh, let's see how this fares. While I'm heading over there, I might as well show you the cars that I have so far. It's very easy to collect cars in this game. We're going to pick, you know, we're going to pick a Formula Drift car because you may be wondering why this is a awful quality well, um, for whatever reason, the recording software that I used in the past isn't working. <laughs> Don't know why. It's just decided to give up right now. I should hopefully have it up by the time Horizon 4 comes out properly. So it should just be a few days of this. But, yeah, I did find that quite annoying. So let's, let's see this, uh, this Viper do some drifting, shall we? Ugh. Okay, um, I'm not dead. I'm not I kind of died-ish. Um, I, I, I must say, it's absolutely, ooh, <laughs> it's an absolutely gorgeous game. And I really like it. Ooh. Oh. Um, we're fine, we're fine, we're not fine. We're good, maybe. Oh, this is bumpy. Rallying in a Viper. Formula Drift car. I really like this Formula Drift pack. I really do. It's just fun to mess around with all the cars. I will say, so far out of the four that I've driven, <gasps> the now deceased Viper is my favorite. I just got attacked by a tree that I already hit. I guess that's called karma, isn't it? Yeah, the Viper is by far my favorite so far. It really is stunning. Whoop. Whoop. Just around the trees. Because it's, I've seen this car in action, not live obviously, but on Goodwood, it is a mental car. 900 horsepower, rear wheel drive, and this is, okay, that's just your fault at that point. Um, it's my favorite generation of Viper, I just love the shape of it. And uh, yeah, as you can expect from a proper drift car... Even a absolute tool like me who messes up his line because of a car and all these other things can uh, drift pretty easily. The physics haven't really changed since, well, Horizon what, 2, I would say, is when the physics really got renovated. So, yeah, if you liked Horizon 3, um, I don't know why you haven't gotten this game already, <laughs> but there you go. Yes, you can see it's just ridiculous, and it's fast. It's very fast indeed. Well, I'm just gonna rewind that. That didn't happen. Another benefit about being online all the time with with rewind: if you hit a car and you rewind, that car stays out of the way. So, hey, I ranked up. Oh, Christ! Uh. You see? And everything stays the same, so I don't have to worry. It is a very, I'm, 
am very impressed in how they dealt with online. I was skeptical about being online all the time as a default option. You can obviously go offline. However, yeah, um, why would you need to, really? Um, there's no real reason to. Unless, because the people are ghost moded, the online players. There's no driver tars, so there's no driver tars. There's one less obstacle in traffic. And it's just a better environment, really. Because if you want to race someone, you can race them. If you don't want to race them, that's fine. There's Force to Thon Live. And the rewind feature and the photo mode still work in online. How they managed to do that, I do not fully understand. But they have, and it's very, very good. We are almost at our destination here, so I'm just going to blitz it. You can actually see the rally trail that I'm kind of bouncing along in my Viper in. Oh. Yeah, it's funny enough, Viper does not like this. Funnily enough, Viper is um, unhappy with me about doing this. Big jump, big jump, big jump. Yes, very big jump into a small river. There we go. Look at that. All right, nice. Just use that throttle management. And uh, now we do arguably the best part. Oh, no, my car is ineligible. I just go over to the cars menu. My cars. Um, over here. Those are the James Bond cars. I'll get into that later. And Fiesta. Get in car. It's free now. It only costs 10 grand like Horizon 3, which is always helpful. Especially for me who does a lot of fast traveling and doesn't want to have to constantly pay for all that stuff. Uh huh. Alright. Can I start the. No, I don't want perks. There we go. Quick. Get in before the perks come up. Alright, so Hot Hatch. Yep, yeah, we want this. We want this car, and then we wait for the AIs. Now, I actually won't know how fast these runs are until I look through the footage because of the whole timing system. I have to do it independently with my watch. So, sorry about that, but... Yeah, so it's, it's a bit fiddly, but we make it work. All right, first run. This will be, uh, this will be interesting. I fear we might not have, we might have the straight line speed, because it is a rally car, so it's limited to 130, because of the gearing. However, I am wor worried about the incredible amount of downforce those things have. They are a little bit mental in downforce. So now we just need to head up to our start line. The conditions are exactly the same, do not worry. So the temperature is pretty much identical, not that it makes too much, okay. Perfect. Now we just wait for them to, you see in the bottom left the uh, map, we're just away from the cross of that hairpin, and uh, then we shall get going, okay, on this first run. Almost there. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit fiddly, but you know what? It, it works. And I'm glad I was able to get that review session out of the way. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Not a great start, but what can you do? Okay, first corner. It's a little bit slidey. But we can manage that. That's almost helpful in this situation. Okay, nicely done. We are indeed faster. Ooh, we don't have as so much grip, though. You do not have as much grip. That's not good. There we go, yes. Chuck it around the first corner. Keep those revs up to get a good exit. Ooh, this is a little scary. Ooh. There we go, look at this. This is a proper rally fiesta. Now, I believe it did a 231.4 was the best lap, best stage, if you will, of the M Sport car. 
So we shall see how close. Ooh, not with this run, though. <laughs> yeah, not with this run. This run's been ruined pretty much. That's not particularly helpful. Come on, come on. Keep the revs up. Keep the revs up. Yeah, 2.31 is the best time. So ignore that timer in the top left. That is completely irrelevant. We're about a minute behind it, if not more. There we go. That's a perfect corner. This was not a perfect corner. That was not a perfect corner at all. We, we took way too far of a line outside. That does not help us, really. Way too shallow this time, I think. Uh, so there's some room for improvement. There's some room for improvement, but overall, it's uh, not too shabby. Ooh. <laughs> a little close on that one. Yes. All right. A little bit of air time for the um, R Sport Fiesta. Yes, R Sport Fiesta. Racing, racing. Um... What's our, I don't know, again, I don't know our time, so we're going to have to judge it. I think it was like a 1 minute 10 we started off on, so that's a 2.40 something is going to end up being a 2, 2.38 dead. That's not very good, I will be perfectly honest. Alright, second run with the uh, S-Sport Fiesta. 3, 2, 1, Go! I don't know if this is going to be enough, because that's a lot of seconds to make up. That's an awful lot of seconds to make up. And although it does have more straight line speed, this rally stage is more... It's a mix. It's a good stage. It's mixed with lots of straight and lots of corners. But I think the corners may marginally outweigh the... Um, Straight. There we go. Nicely done. You don't want to waste too much time sliding, so I try to keep that down to a bit of a minimum. But you do have to do it occasionally. Much more speed. Carried around there. Yes, this is... Looks like a better opening. Let's see if we can close it. Tap the wall a little bit is fine. No harm, no foul there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect through the bridge section. There we go. Again, keep it high in the rev range. Get every molecule of power this engine can muster. Because we're going to need it. We're going to need it desperately. Come on! Alright, chuck it in. Just a little bit, not too much. Just help get the front end turn, reduce the understeer. Car is not handling too badly. Ooh, damn it. Keep forgetting about that corner. Not the greatest run through there, but everything else has been um, pretty solid. Yeah, those last two corners were not good, but everything else was pretty darn nice. And late, chuck it in. Clip the flag. Flat out. Yes, there we go. Hard on the brakes for this section here. We don't want to miss any checkpoints. We don't want to run off track either. There we go. Just one more straight to go. Woo. That didn't count us any time off, which is good. Didn't slow us down. And we are across the line again. Take a minute 20 off that time. Ooh. It might have just been it, you know? We'll have to... No, it didn't be it. One, it's still... Um... Still five seconds off. Okay. We only got one more try left. Alright. We're going to go on 110. Turn more consistency. Three... Two, one, go! 
All right, let's not screw up any corners. If we screw, we can't screw anything up. This has to be all the money and we have the best lap we ever have in our lives. If we want to beat that M Sport. Because I think it just comes down to the acceleration. Those WRC cars have murderous acceleration. They are absolutely brutal. This, although pretty darn nice, is no WRC car. It's... A normal car disguised as a WRC car. Really? That's just the truth of it. And it's a great car. It doesn't quite have the um, launch out of these corners that we really need. Come on, please! Ah. Uh. I don't know if that screwed us or not. That might have. It also might not have. We shall see. These checkpoints are placed real nastily so they can't get really short apexes. It's like a double apex corner. You have to get absolutely spot on. There we go. Yes. Find out that line. Find that line. Don't mess this up. I don't know if that was good or not. Might have been. Might not have been. It was at least on the apex. That was pretty good. That was pretty good for sure. I think that was definitely an improvement. But was it enough of an improvement? Keep your foot down, keep your foot down, keep your foot down. Yes. Chuck it in. Chuck it in. Clip it with the tail. There you go. Perfect. Flap through there. Please, Fiesta. Come on. Alright, better run through here. Better run. There we go. We got 142 miles an hour across the line. Did I go any faster? I did indeed go faster. Take a minute 10 off of that. Still not enough though. And it would be the M Sport Fiesta that would be three seconds faster as you can see here. That's a lot of seconds, but not as many seconds as I was expecting. I thought the M Sport, Fi the uh, our Sport Fiesta did a pretty good job, considering this has way more aerodynamics and suspension and everything that you can have for a rally car. Heck, the mirrors are where the door handles are for some vehicles. I mean, it is a proper, fully built rally car and a slightly and a heavily modified Fiesta from 2014 almost beat it. So, and we'll claim victory, but that 2014 Fiesta gave up one heck of a fight. But that'll be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. Hopefully things will be back to, back to normal by next week. I can speak English. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. I'll be back with more.